Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another edition of Bite Sized Reviews. Now, I've been trying to do this every two weeks on a Monday, but unfortunately, with my last work trip, I kind of got knocked off schedule with this series. So it's been a while since I've done an update, and unfortunately, since my last update, I actually haven't used all the samples, but I really want to get back on track, and I really just want to pick just a couple more samples to throw in and then finish using them up and get back to my two week schedule. So if you missed the last update that I post it, I'll throw it up in the cards, but let's just jump into the products that I actually did use from that video. So the first product I used, it's not totally used up, but I did use it, was this fragrance from Replica. This is Lazy Sunday Morning. I found that this really didn't smell that great on me, but it smelled great as like a room freshener, a room fragrance kind of thing. Like I would love a candle of this. So I used this like just to kind of spray my room. I sprayed my bed with a little bit of it, uh, but when I wore it on myself, it just I feel like it didn't sit right and it didn't smell as nice. <laughs> the next thing I used, I did have a couple of these Urban Decay Naked Skin little bubble blisters of foundation. I used one of them in, I believe it was the lightest shade. No, it was 3.5 I used and I lightened it with a white mixer. It actually sat beautifully on my skin. I really love the way that it sat. Uh, I don't think I can use 5.0 or 7.5 even with a white mixer, but I'm going to try maybe on a day where I'm staying home, and I think I can wear 2.0. So I'm still going to try out 2.0, but these two, uh, I'll probably move out of this rotation because I'm not sure I'll get a full use out of it because they're so dark, and I don't know what the undertones are for them yet. So that's kind of a, I'll have to wait and see. Another product I actually used was this Makeup Forever foundation. I'm actually wearing it right now, and this is the Matte Velvet Skin 24-hour full coverage foundation in the shade Y315. Way too dark. I lightened it again to wear it today and I love the way that it's sitting on my skin right now. That being said, I haven't worn it a full day yet. I'm not going to test it thoroughly today because I am working from home today, but as of right now, I, I love the way it looks. It was very solid. I don't know if I would call it full coverage because I did have to layer it up in some spots, so it wasn't full coverage on one layer. I could get it to full coverage though. So I really like how this is and I love the size of the sample. I can still get quite a few uses out of the sample so I am going to wear this for a full day. I'll update you guys in the description box on how I feel about this foundation because by the time this video goes up I should have been able to wear it for a full day and multiple times. Alright so on to the things that I'm going to carry over. Uh, I have this Girl Lawn Lingerie Depot foundation sample. I didn't even touch that yet. I'm going to carry that over to this week. I have a Glam Glow Mask, the Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Also didn't touch, I'm gonna carry that over. I have a clarifying shampoo that I really wanna try out the next time I wash my hair, which is probably going to be tomorrow or Sunday. Today's a Friday. Um, but I honestly don't know anything about it other than it's pretty expensive. So I don't think this is something I'm gonna buy a full size of because currently I'm looking for a good, affordable clarifying shampoo. And this is like $22 at Sephora for only four ounces of product, so yeah. Of course, I'm also carrying over the mascara I picked out last time. This is the NARS Climax Mascara, and I've been using this fairly often. I actually brought it with me on that work trip I went on. I've been very impressed. This is a very good mascara. I like the wand. I thought it would be too big for me, but it's actually the perfect size wand. I really like the formula. I'm wearing it today. I don't see any transfer. I don't see any flaking off during the day. And my lashes do hold the curl. So I'm actually pretty impressed by this. So I've got my little basket here. I'm just going to pick out like a couple more samples just to kind of add to these, just to shake it up a bit and get back into the routine. Okay, so the first sample I picked out is from... DP Hue, I think that's the name of the brand. This is the Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub with Pink Himalayan Sea Salt. This sounds really awesome. I've heard about scap, 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 scalp exfoliants before, but I never actually tried one. And this is a nice sized package. So it says directions, work product through hands and fingers and massage into scalp and roots. Do not expect to lather, rinse thoroughly. So that, I mean, that would be very interesting. And it does feel a bit gritty, so it probably would give you a really good exfoliation. I'm just, I cannot wait to try this out. I'll probably try this out and then follow it up with this clarifying shampoo. So that's the game plan. I'm going to try to use both of them the next time I wash my hair. The next sample I got is this little jar from Shea Moisture. And this is the 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer. So let's see. It sounds like it's a primer. Oh, it's very coconutty. 
I'm not a huge fan of like a realistic coconut scent, but we'll see how it actually applies. Yeah, so the directions are smooth in a small amount and circular motions over your face and neck after cleansing. Skin feels softer with a healthy looking glow wear alone or under makeup. So I think with this, I'm still going to use my regular moisturizer. It is the middle of winter and my skin has been acting up since I got back from my trip. So I, I'm going to test this out as a primer underneath my makeup. And actually the next and last sample I picked out is also a primer. So I got two little packets of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I think I've tried out the purple primer. Look, this is the white bottle primer, I think. Or I'm going colorblind. I've tried out the purple one, I think, and I didn't think it was that great or really worth the price. So I'm excited to try this out. It seems like I can get a full use out of each packet, so at least I'll be able to try out it multiple times. All right, guys, and that's the game plan to get back into this routine because my trip kind of threw everything off whack when it came to using up my samples. I also really want to link down below, I posted this on my Twitter, but I saw an article from the New York Times about makeup samples and about using them and what you can do if you don't actually go through all of your samples. And I just thought that was fascinating to see like a major publication do an article like that. So I thought that was really cool. I'll throw that up. Or throw that up. I'll throw that down in the description box and the first comment if you guys want to check that article out. I thought it was a very good read, very fascinating. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.